Ja, jetzt lüft man das Geheimnis endlich. Die We can finally reveal the secret and announce the big news. The first club model for 2017 is going to be a Series 103-243, made from completely new tooling. The new vehicle comes with an elongated driver's cap, so it will be the long version of Series 103. This sample shows what an eye-catcher the actual model is going to be. We've paid special attention to important details such as the roof cables and insulators to make sure they are carried out correctly. This can be seen in the CAD construction design. We've had a pair of new Einhorn pantographs developed from scratch for this locomotive. They're much more detailed than the ones that used to be mounted on the previous 103 versions, but this means that we've had to compromise. The delicate pantographs cannot be used for contacting the overhead line. The double row of ventilation grids will be carried out in detail. They also receive a simulated sandblasted surface by means of digital printing. An MSD3 digital decoder MFX Plus is at work on board the engine. It allows for a total of 32 sound, light and mechanical functions. Wherever the prototype of Series 103 shows up, it's sure to attract many admirers. This example, Series 103-235, has just reached Cologne Central. Sadly, this engine is no longer fully functional. The first model bodies are being produced in Göppingen. What we are doing here at die casting post production is primarily drilling all the holes that cannot be carried out within the molding process. Those holes will later receive additional elements such as grab iron and other mounted parts. In addition, we are removing any traces of the molding process and finishing the lower edge of the metal body. The necessary information is generated on the computer and coded by means of a special software that is fed into the machine to start off the program. We need 16 holes drilled on each side of the body for the grab irons alone, so the number of holes adds up pretty quickly. The relevant data is processed and saved on the computer before it's loaded on a USB stick and transferred to the CNC machining center. Of course, this club model will be 100% made of metal. It takes innumerable little drilled holes to make sure that all the tiny applications can be mounted later on. The large driver's cab window needs to be cut out as well. A pre-production version was produced to make sure that the entire production process runs smoothly. This sample is such an early product. It comprises mostly original parts and is only missing lettering. As usual, the new Series 103 locks onto the central station. Its decoder supports the following formats. MFX, Motorola 1 and 2, as well as DCC. All 32 functions appear on the screen and can be called up with a CS3. If a CS2 is used, only 16 of those will be available. Und als ganz besondere Innovation für dieses Modell haben wir dieses Mal abklappbare Lokführer. We've come up with one especially nice little feature. The figure of the engineer can be rotated mechanically by means of a servo motor. If the direction of travel changes, the engineer will automatically disappear in the former driver's cab and reappear in the other one. Of course, this works in reverse as well. This really is a sensational innovation. This feature hasn't been available in regular items of the Märklin assortment. A five-pole high-efficiency drive including flywheel are mounted centrally. Two axles per truck are powered by means of a carden shaft. The model's design incorporated even the smallest details such as these tiny steps. 
The little windshield wipers are rendered nicely. Our engineer has just switched positions to the other cab. The new Series 103 demonstrates excellent handling characteristics, including the ability to accelerate very smoothly. Auch der Analogfahrer hat von dem Lokführer was, und zwar wird der Lokführer auch im Analogbetrieb. The engineer that moves from one driver's cab to the other will be available in analog operation as well. Eins beispielsweise ab und kommt im Führerstand zwei wieder hoch. Das wird auch im Analogbetrieb möglich sein. It's been a long time philosophy at Märklin to make sure that the new club models will have a ready supply of matching cars available. There is probably nothing better suited for this wonderful locomotive than a set of fast train cars in a nice color scheme of magenta and beige. Towards the end of the 1970s, the locomotive used to be based in Hamburg-Eidelstedt. For the set of matching cars, we've picked the TEE Parsifal, which used to run with the 103 in front from Hamburg-Altena to Paris, Gare du Nord. The entire set comprises five cars, including a saloon car, a bar car, a restaurant car and two compartment cars. There are also wonderful prospects for Trix Club members. The new 103 and the set of cars will be made available as an exclusive series to them as well. The cars are designed in a scale of 1 to 93.5, and they should be able to smoothly travel through narrow radius curves without getting stuck. The TEE Parsifal is an excellent train for both collectors and active model railroaders. Please remember the deadline for ordering.